Hey, what is going on YouTube and thanks for tuning in to another video. Today I wanted to show you this Akidio Thunder 3 PCIe box. Now this unofficially allows you to convert this box into an external GPU. And for those of you who don't know what an external GPU, it's basically the ability to have a graphics card connected through a US, uh, excuse me, through a Thunderbolt 3 port. Now it does have to be Thunder, Thunderbolt 3 compatible, so keep that in mind. Today I'll be using uh, an EVGA 1050Ti, and the reason I chose that is because that is the only graphics card that I can think of that that'll fit in this uh, Kidio uh, external enclosure. So right now I'm showing you just the cables. It has uh, you know some cable ties there. Now it does come with like I believe a 71 watt or 72 watt power supply. Uh, as you know, that's not sufficient for the 1050 Ti. So I went ahead and, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I went out and bought a 120 watt power adapter, uh, which is definitely capable of powering that GPU. So right now, I am opening up the packaging, and luckily these have uh, thumb screws, so and they don't come off. So definitely a positive there. Now I'm going to show you the inside here and I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can just install a graphics card on here. Now keep in mind I am connecting it to a 2016 MacBook Pro which does have Thunder, Thunderbolt 3 ports and that's how I'll be using this device. Now as you can see it's very small so keep that in mind when you're connecting your 1050 Ti is there as you can see there's no external power supply usually graphics cards have the ports on top of the graphics card so that way you can connect uh, so we could take up more uh, power in this case it is just PCIe powered uh, as you can see moving on I taken off the plastic here so that way I could uh, install it and use it right away Keep in mind this is an, a quick unboxing video. As you can see I sped up the process because I didn't want to uh, talk much about it. I just wanted to show you. So for those of you who are interested in getting an, a cheap external GPU, there's some out there but of course you have to buy the graphics card and you have to buy the enclosure which costs a lot of money. Especially with right now and cryptocurrency boosting up the prices. I bought that graphics card at about 130 35 dollars uh, they're probably over 200 dollars now unfortunately now with that again you will need that 120 watt power supply just to be on the safe side it is a little overkill but you definitely need to have that so that way you can power this uh, comfortably now with this comes with a Thunderbolt 3 cable now unfortunately that Thunderbolt 3 cable is really really small it's about a foot maybe a little bit over a foot long and it just you would have to turn the external GPU around so that way you can you know kind of move it around uh, so it's very inconvenient unless you have a nice setup where you have your monitor and of course the external GPU and the laptop now to get the best results, I highly suggest connecting it to an external display. You could still run it on the laptop itself, but keep in mind you will lose about 10 to 20 percent of the output. Now this video came up because I was actually watching other YouTube videos on this because it caught my interest on this external GPU uh, 